Now, the rest of the story. Sarah Colley, 23, was a young lady on the narrow way to Broadway. Her childhood dream was to become the greatest dramatic actress of her time. She would settle for one of the greatest, but meanwhile she would pay her dues as a traveling drama coach directing plays in various communities. Now it's January, 1936. Been a hard winter in the vicinity of Cullman, Alabama. Sarah's train arrives at 3 o'clock one afternoon in the middle of a full blast blizzard. Cullman's just another stop on her tour of the southeast. She's scheduled to direct a play at a large consolidated school outside town, way outside town, 15 miles up in the mountains. The principal of this rural school is supposed to have met Sarah at the train. He's so certain the inclement weather would cause her to cancel her engagement that he doesn't even bother to show up. It'll be almost nightfall before the young actress is able to locate the principal. His embarrassment is compounded by the fact that there's no place provided for Sarah to stay. All of the while, Sarah is thinking, so this is the sticks. <laughs> well, she cannot imagine the rest of the story. For it's then that the principal recalls a family living about a mile farther up in the mountains. Surely they'll have a room to spare. The principal will take Sarah and her luggage in his car. At the end of a long, winding, snow-covered mountain road, a log cabin, the school administrator escorts Sarah to the door. The door is answered by a slender old woman in a clean yet wash-faded print dress. No, she says, they have no room to spare, but since the actress lady is staying only ten days, she may have brother's room. She reckons brother Kyle won't mind sleeping in the lean-to out by the kitchen. So now they have met, these two ladies from two different worlds. Charming Sarah, former high school cheerleader, graduate of her home state's most fashionable finishing school, a young actress on her determined way to the big time, and the old mountain woman in the faded print dress, her gray hair pulled up in a knot at the back of her head, her life a parade of seasons, planting and harvest, and 16 children. Over the next 10 days, this mountain family will find a special place in Sarah's heart. They'll marvel at her city ways. She'll be fascinated by their innocence, touched by their generosity, and amused by their inadvertent wit. It's the old woman, Sarah observes, who is especially funny without ever trying to be, and especially kind. You might think she'd be impressed by the actress in her home, and yet she regards Sarah only as a stranger in distress. It is Sarah who is genuinely beguiled by her hostess. In fact, in a way, Sarah Colley never left that mountainside in northern Alabama. Returning to her own home, she took with her the memories of blinding white snows and wood-burning stoves and dinners by kerosene lamplight, and dearest of all, the delightful old woman of the hills who inspired actress Sarah to recreate her in a character, a character who has now become a member of the family to us all. Sarah Colley, former cheerleader, graduate of a fashionable finishing school, a multi-talented, starry-eyed girl who wanted to become her generation's greatest actress. Sarah Colley, warmed by the recollection of a cold winter in 1936, relinquished her old dreams to become someone else and to make you smile along with her memory. You see, the character that Sarah Colley created, her tribute to the old woman in the faded print dress, the person she, Sarah, is, when she is, Minnie Pearl. And now you know the rest of the story.